हाँ ठीक है ठीक है दो करोड़ का कर दो अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है फिर तीन करोड़ का कर दो चलो अच्छा ऐसा है क्या पांच करोड़ का कर दो यार हाँ एक मिनट रुको अरे अरे टर्म इंश्योरेंस ले रहा हूँ फ्री में मिल रहा है फ्री जीरो कॉस्ट टर्म इंश्योरेंस है ना असक असक का है Hey folks, see you, Rachna Ranade here, and I welcome you all to a very important video wherein we are going to discuss about some top secrets about term insurance, which very few people might tell you. The points covered in today's video are very important yet very simple, so don't forget to keep on watching the video till the end. And if you find some value in it, don't forget to smash the like button as well and make the algorithm more happier. But before we move on with the video, let me thank Juhi Sharma Prasad and Gain Singh Verma for their wonderful comments. So let's get started with the very first important point, which is about the maturity age of the policy. Now, what do I mean by that? It means that we have to check for how many years are we covered in our term insurance. So let's take an example right away, right? Here we have Mr. Chandu after a long time, ah, huh, Chandu, Chandu and his wife and oh, 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 a small baby with them as well. Now, Chandu currently is thirty years of age, and Chandu decides that I want to go ahead with the term insurance. Chandu believes that. बहुत हो गया तो भी max to max he may live for like eighty five years and that is the reason why he takes a life cover of sixty years from now sixty years from now means his current age is thirty plus sixty years so till the age of ninety he covers himself himself with the term insurance right now what happens assume we'll now fast forward in time and Chandu turns eighty five but where are they gone oh that's what has happened with Chandu but what about the newly born baby That's how the newly born baby looks like. He also seems to be of retirement age now because the newly born baby then is now fifty five years old. Okay, now wait. You can also understand that he is also married and now he has a son who is almost thirty years old now. Now what is the scenario? Understand? When Chandu died, uh, when he was eighty five years, who was the nominee? Nominee was his son. His son has received the sum assured or sum insured at the age of what fifty five. Now here we have a question. We have a perspective on which I even want your thought process, your opinion. Why do we take a term insurance? Term insurance is typically known to be taken for income replacement. If something happens to the bread earner, the people who are dependent on the bread earner should not face any hardship. That is the reason why a term insurance is taken or a life insurance is taken. Now you can imagine, even if Chandu passes away at eighty-five, is it going to cause any financial hardship, any financial burden on his son who is already nearing retirement? So the ideal answer is no. So if you ask me my opinion, one thought process can be that you have to get yourself insured. Unless or until only that time till you are the primary bread earner of the family, which could be till you turn sixty. That should be more than enough, right? So Chandu could have taken the insurance only for thirty years instead of sixty years. Now, what could be the second counter or a thought process to that? You will be like, "Arey, even if his son at the age of fifty-five, even if he gets money, आपको क्या problem क्या है आपको? That person is getting some bonus, some extra money. Is there any problem?" problem to kuch nahi hai there's no problem but i understand that if you want to get covered for a longer duration you have to pay more premiums so the whole point in our example is that you have to take an informed decision if you want a longer maturity age then you will have to pay higher premium and if you are okay with a shorter maturity age you will get a benefit of low premiums Now let's move on to the second point, wherein we are going to discuss as to how much times of your income should you have as a sum assured or an insurance cover. So if you ask me this same question, and if you say, Rashna, I want an answer in one sentence, I would typically say ten x of your income. Okay, but then that could be a standard rule, that could be a thumb rule, but will that differ from person to person? Answer is yes. Okay, now it could differ on what basis. So if I take a scenario of a person. Who is having a huge net worth? Okay, let's do one thing. Let's take an example. Here we have Mr. Chandu coming from his hmm, private helicopter. Who else is with him? Oh ho oh, oh. ho! Look at Mrs. Chandu with his with her amazing her diamond necklace and all. Ah, huh? uh, who else? Oh, cho, their son is also there. Uh, looks pretty stylish. You know what? They're like super rich people. I recently checked their balance sheet. It's in balance sheet size is in crores, and it's a debt-free balance sheet. Who is your insurance agent? Oh, he is asking Chandu to take an insurance cover twenty x of his earning. Ah, now the big question is, do you really feel that his family is dependent on him right now? They already have a net worth of crores and crores of rupees. 
So, what do you think? Does he really need a life insurance, a term insurance? Now, if you ask me, my personal opinion is that 20x of his income is not at all what is required because he already has crores and crores of net worth. So, insurance typically is looked at as an income replacement when you don't have enough money. So, even if Chandu wants, he can take an insurance, but I don't think he, per I, I mean, that's my personal opinion, but I don't think he requires a cover of up to 20x of his income. And here we have Mr. Bandhu. Oh ho ho, have a look at his amazing brand new two-wheeler. Oh, by the way, he has got it on a loan. Huh? And who else is with him? Mrs. Bandhu. She is a housewife. And also here is Chota Bandhu who is learning in grade 5. Now you can imagine what responsibilities Mr. Bandhu has. He has to take care of his EMIs. He has to take care of the household expenses. And also his son's school fees. And who has come here? Oh, insurance agent, kya baat hai? He is offering 20x insurance cover for Mr. Bandhu. What do you think? Should he take this insurance or not? Well, if you ask me, my answer is 100% yes. Now, why? As I told you, he does have liabilities. He does have a lot of expenses and very important, he is the sole bread earner in the family. Now you can imagine, unfortunately, if something happens to Mr. Bandhu, then what big problem can Mrs. Bandhu face? And that is the reason why he should take the insurance cover. And if he is offered like a 20x of his salary cover, he should definitely go ahead with that. So I hope you have understood all in all, a thumb rule can be that if you have high net worth, no one is really dependent on you, you have a lot of money invested, then should you take a big insurance cover? Not required. You can go ahead with a smaller insurance cover as well, like in the case of Chandu. But exactly opposite happen will happen in the case of Mr. Bandhu. Now, before we move on with the third point, you'll be like, Rachna, you're going to cover only four key points while selecting a term plan. What about other important points? Wouldn't it be amazing if some professional can actually help you out with choosing a term plan that suits your needs and that too, free of cost? And what's the solution for it? It's Ditto. Ditto is backed by Zeroda, which is one of India's largest stock brokers. With the free consultation that Ditto provides and that too, honest insurance advice, no spam policy, you can talk to the experts who actually care for you. Whether it is about changing your existing policy or whether it's about buying a new policy, they have got you covered. It's very simple. You just have to call them or you can just put a WhatsApp text message. They will call you at your convenient time. And just in case, even if you have to go ahead with a claim settlement process they'll help you through that process as well if you have taken an insurance from them so if you want to know more and if you want to book a free consultation call with ditto don't forget to check out the link in the description box and also in the pinned comment below i would also want to highlight a point that you ideally need to act fast because some insurers are hiking the term insurance prices very soon now let's move on with the third important point as to should you buy a zero cost term policy or not. Now if you remember in the pre-bumper, this fellow was saying that 2 crore kya, 5 crore kya, kya hi farak padta. It's a zero cost term plan. But now we are going to understand what do we mean by a zero cost term plan and should you really go ahead with it or not. Typically this is kind of an insurance policy which allows you to get your entire premium paid back. You will get a refund of all the premium paid if you surrender your policy or it is called as if you forego your policy till a specific age. Didn't understand? Let's take an example. Okay. To our rescue, back is Mr. Chandu. Chandu is currently at the age of 30 years. Okay. Now, he has taken an insurance policy where he is covered till the age of 70. Right. Now, what happens is that in this policy, it is mentioned that if he surrenders the policy till the age of 60, then he will get his entire premium paid as a refund. Now, today Chandu is, let's fast, fa fast forward and today Chandu is at the age of 59 and Chandu says, let me take the decision today of whether should I get back all my premiums or not. But wait, Chandu, hmm. first we will decide whether Chandu should go ahead with this decision or not. Why? Number one, you can imagine whenever he paid premium, would he have paid only premium or premium plus GST? Generally, GST is around 18%. The 18% is not what he's going to get back. So, GST gone is gone forever. Okay. So, number one problem will be that whatever GST he has paid, he's going to lose that. And number two, whatever premium he has paid, that he has paid when he was 30, today he is 59. What he's going to get back is the exact same amount, not the inflation adjusted amount. Okay. So, you can imagine he had paid 10,000 when he was 30. He is going to get back 30 
थर्टी क्या बोला वेन ही वॉज थर्टी लेटर से ईयर पेड टेन थाउजेंड टूडे ही इज गोट टू गेट दैट सेम टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज ओनली नॉट टेन थाउजेंड प्लस इंटरेस्ट नाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू अ सिमिलर एग्जाम्पल हैव लुक एट दिस दिस इज अ शॉर्ट फ्रॉम अंदाज अपना अपना वेर इन ही इज आस्किंग फॉर अ रैनसम मनी ऑफ फिफ्टी लैख रुपीज फास्ट फॉरवर्ड इन टू द मूवी वेलकम नाउ दिस पर्सन इज आस्किंग फॉर अ रैनसम मनी ऑफ फोर क्रोर्स रैनसम मनी तो रैनसम मनी है बट फिफ्टी लैक्स इफ इट इज टर्निंग टू फोर क्रोर दैट इज इन्फ्लेशन एडजस्टेड सेम थिंग इज नॉट हैपनिंग विद द प्रीमियम्स ऑफ चंदू प्रीमियम उतना ही मिल रहा है सेम अमाउंट इज गेटिंग बैक सो इफ यू आस्क मी शुड यू गो हेड विद अ जीरो टर्म प्लान माई आंसर इज अ बिग नो बट देन वॉट कुड बी द ऑप्शन सिंपल इफ चंदू नोज दैट ही इज गोइंग टू यू नो स्टॉप द पॉलिसी एट सिक्सटी ही शुड हैव टेकन अ कवर ओनली टिल द एज ऑफ सिक्सटी राधर दैन फर्स्ट गोइंग अहेड विद अ पॉलिसी टिल सेवेंटी एट दैन कैंसलिंग इट और सरेंडरिंग इट एट द एज ऑफ फिफ्टी नाइन Now let's move on with the final point of the video, which is also a very very important point, which is about riders. Now riders are not a mandatory for you, but I feel all the important riders which you feel are important, you should take in your insurance policy. Now I'll talk about two important riders today, and for balance important riders, I would want you all to check out our website rachnaranade dot com. In that I have written a detailed blog, which will be hardly a three to five minute read, but will definitely add value to your knowledge. But now let's move on with the two riders which we are going to. Discuss. Discuss today. The first one is a critical illness rider. Let's take take an example that Mr. X had taken an insurance policy with a critical illness rider, which is to cater a critical illness like cancer. Now assume that unfortunately after he takes this policy within three four years he is detected with cancer. Now what happens is that the person need not I mean his family members need not wait until the person dies to get the money. But critical illness rider says that the moment the person who is the insured is detected with a critical illness say cancer immediately they will be disbursed the amount whichever is assured to the family members that money will be completely disbursed to the persons. bank account now what can he do with this money possibly number 1 pay off the hospital bills pay off the medical bills and that can also act as an income replacement for him because you can imagine if that person is detected with cancer he may not be able to go to his office place or any workplace for let's say a year or two so that can also act as an income replacement now assume that same person also has a health insurance in that case it will be much better for him because the health insurance can take care of the medical bills of the hospital bills so whatever money is received from the critical illness that entire money can be used to replace the lost income i hope you have understood the importance of this critical illness rider because this money is not is not received after that person dies but that money is re- received immediately when the person is diagnosed with the critical illness let's move on with another important rider which is about the accidental disability rider now you can imagine that a person takes an insurance and he or she meets with a very unfortunate accident because of which there is a very terrible disability let's say there is there are loss of hands there are loss of legs because of it same that person will not be able to work anymore now don't you think that will lead to a big dent in the in income for the family and answer is obviously yes so such type of riders will help the family members to recoup the income which is lost so i hope you have understood all the important points which are discussed till now if you feel that there are still some more terms around term insurance that you would want to learn from me don't forget to leave that in the comment section below i would be happy to make a separate video for you all and if you want to learn more about sukanya samriddhi yojana you can click here if you want to learn more about t bills you can click here till then take care jai hind and bye bye